Hi you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you guys are new here, my name is Katie. I just ordered my Starbucks. I'm in line to pick up my drink. If I look tired, it's because I literally just rolled out of bed and like threw on a hoodie and then got in the car. Which by the way, I'm wearing this Abercrombie hoodie and it is the most comfy thing in the entire world. I'm obsessed with Abercrombie hoodies now and I want to get one in like every color and it fits so, so well too. But anyways, that has nothing to do with today's vlog. I leave for Chicago in 24 hours and have I packed one thing? Nope. Have I planned one thing? Nope. Have I done really anything besides book flights and a hotel for this trip? Nope. So I have a whole <laughs> basically trip to plan today and I need to pack for everything. I need to plan my outfits out. I need to figure out what we're even doing. There's a lot to do today. So today's vlog is like getting all that done. Okay, hang on. Let me get my drink. Okay, just got my coffee and parked so we could chat. I just got my toasted vanilla oat milk shake and espresso. Anyway, so yeah, there's lots to do today. Um, so I thought I would just take you guys along, do a little like pack with me, probably need to run some errands. It's supposed to be like super rainy and like thunderstorming all day today. Someone even said that we could potentially get like hail or tornadoes, which I'm like, excuse me, what? So I probably need to get like my errands knocked out sooner rather than later. I need to take Harper to daycare because she's going to go stay at daycare while I'm gone. And then my mom's going to watch Kai. Kai loves my mom. She spoils him every single time he stays with her and it's the cutest thing. What else do I need to do today? I need to completely pack. I honestly probably need to wash things. I kind of don't know how to pack though because I was, okay, when I booked this trip a month ago, everything like the weather app and everything when you looked at like the whole month's view said that it was going to be like cold and it's going to be like the 40s and 50s and I was like perfect like this will be a great trip like I can also get some like fall content maybe some like winter like content like outfits and stuff like that and I asked you guys on my Instagram story like what the weather was like right now and like what I should pack for and everyone's like oh it's like t-shirt and shorts weather which I'm like wait no like this is a fall trip like I booked I specifically booked this to like get to a very cold place I love the cold weather I thrive in the cold weather anyways but I got a figure out like what to pack i need to try on all the outfits i think i'm gonna go ahead and head home okay just got home and i'm starting to get all of harper's food stuff ready they ask you to put them in like little baggies with their name which meal it is the dates all of that stuff i'm so glad that she loves going to doggy daycare because like i know some dogs don't love it but harper has the best time like the pictures they post on their instagram are always so freaking cute she's having a blast so it makes me so happy for her that she loves going. You guys, you know what's so crazy? I'm just like looking at the dates and I was like planning stuff for um, like my content calendar for November. As soon as I get back from Chicago, I have to start like posting and like creating Christmas content, which is wild. I have a Christmas campaign going up like the 19th or the 20th, I think. I think it has to be up by the 20th, so it'll be up sometime by then. So like, I have to do stuff before that video to like prep for that video, if that makes sense. So I have so much Christmas stuff that I need to get up. And then a lot of you guys asked for um, like gift guides and stuff, like more early slash mid-November. So it's so crazy. Like as soon as I get back, that's like the end of fall content. And it's like Christmas content is starting, which is so crazy because I feel like we just got to fall, but I'm honestly super excited for that. I think it'll be so much fun. I love Christmas. I'm so freaking excited to decorate my house. It's going to be so great. Now to take the little Harper to doggy daycare, I'm going to go ahead and drop her off. But I'm supposed to start downpouring really soon, so I prefer to like not drive in like super heavy rain because it is kind of far. So I'm going to go ahead and go take her, and then I'll check with you guys when I get back. All right, we got Miss Harper all loaded up, ready to go. She's like sitting there watching the rain because it just started like absolutely downpouring. Just started trying on outfits. I think this is going to be one of them. I really wanted to do like a cute trench coat outfit. I got this little trench coat from Amazon actually, and I really like it. Um, so I just paired it with a like, little black crop top. I'm wearing some black leggings, black boots, and then my New York Yankees hat just because I feel like that like makes every outfit look a lot cuter for some reason. And then I'm bringing this black bag from Amazon. I was thinking about taking this one from the brand Freya, but one thing I'll show you guys. So this is what this bag looks like with it. I think it's super cute, but the one downside for me about wearing like shoulder bags when I'm out walking around is they don't stay on my shoulders whatsoever. So they like start to fall off like this and then they always just slip down, which sucks because I do think that this bag is so, so cute with it. But, but I just know for like comfort purposes, this is gonna be falling off my shoulders every two seconds if we're like walking around a lot. Um, so I like just having something that's like more of a crossbody. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. Also, if you guys are interested in any of these pieces, I will have all of the stuff linked down below as well so you guys can easily shop. But anyways, 
anyways this is my first outfit okay i'm thinking for like a cute little date night dinner outfit i have these faux leather pants from abercrombie that i love these are their curve love ones and then in dallas i got this like see-through black long sleeve shirt from zara so i thought it'd be cute to put maybe like a little black lacy bralette underneath so i'm gonna try this on really quickly because i feel like that'd be super cute i'm trying to plan some outfits that i'm not gonna get hot in because if it is a little bit warmer but i also want to wear my cute fall outfit so i thought this would be a good little in between because the shirt is like super super light so let's try it on see how it looks Okay, feel free to ignore the whole mess that I'm making in the background, but this is the next outfit. I thought it'd be cute with like a little low pony moment, but I can't figure out if I like this outfit or if it's like super unflattering on me. I really can't tell. I don't know if it's like the pants or if it's the shirt. I just feel like there's something about this outfit that's off. I'm also about to start my period, so I feel like super bloated. So these are kind of tight on me right now. So I don't know. I really can't tell if this outfit's like cute on me or it looks really bad. Like I genuinely cannot tell at all right now. So maybe we'll see maybe i'll pack it just in case i decide later that it looks cute i don't know i feel like it does have potential but i really cannot tell but it pairs with these like little pointed toe black leather booties that i got from amazon so definitely i'm gonna pack those okay next outfit i'm gonna try i don't remember who i saw wearing this but i saw this outfit on someone else so i'm not like original coming up with this idea but they put a little like black corset over a white button down shirt with some leather pants and booties and I think that would be so cute. It kind of like cinches in your waist, which I feel like is more flattering for my figure. So I'm going to try this on. We'll see what we think. Um, I'm not like 100% sure what I don't like about this outfit or if there's like something off. But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there's just something off with this outfit. Maybe it's like my super wrinkly shirt. Maybe it would look better if I iron my shirt. I don't know. I feel like I remember this looking so cute on whoever I saw it on. But like, but I feel like on me, this is just not a vibe. I don't know. I'll try on another corset with this and see how it looks because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try on another one. Okay, here is another potential option. Hi, Kaiser Duke. You come to get dressed with me? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this handsome Duke. Yes, beautiful boy. Okay, anyways, here is another option. I feel like this one's like a little bit more me. It's still like a fun style that I've never worn before, but I do think that it's cute. I would definitely need to wear like little nipple covers. I don't have anything on right now and I feel like I would definitely need to. It definitely accentuates my waist. I feel like it also makes the booty pop a little bit more than I'd like to. I feel like typically when I wear stuff, I try to not accentuate my butt. Like I try to make it look a little bit smaller just because I don't like how big it is, but I don't know. I feel like this is a cute one. Should I do this bag though or should I maybe go with this one i don't know i do like this one but i feel like the other one's cute too but regardless i think i'm gonna be bringing both of them okay so there's another outfit i hope this is cute i don't know if i'm like being creative right now and making cute outfits or if like, these are all hideous you guys ever get that way too i don't know i doubt myself a lot okay anyways on to the next one <laughs> okay so i totally just remembered that i actually stopped by h&m and grabbed a few other things the other day for this trip so i'm thinking with the last outfit i might actually bring this bag I think it's super cute. I realized after I bought it that it doesn't have like little straps on it. I don't know if it was supposed to or if someone just like took it off or I don't know. It's not on the inside, but you can buy like a cheap replacement one for like five bucks on Amazon. So I might bring this one because I think this would be kind of cute. Very like Chanel vibes. Okay, next outfit. I got this cute little blazer from H&M. But it's like a really dark gray patterned coat, which I like. So it's not just like plain black. So I was thinking it'd be cute paired with like a long sleeve. which But this long sleeve top is from Abercrombie. And I'm not wearing a bra under it or anything. And like it holds everything in. And I wouldn't even need to wear a bra with it. So, so thick. It's not see-through. It's like the best quality white long sleeve I've ever had in my entire life. Anyways, but I put that underneath. And then I just paired it with some leggings. And then my Yankees hat. And I'm trying to think if this would be cute for like a little air port outfit but i can't decide between like the sneakers or the boots i feel like the sneakers I'm trying like, not to step on kai's feet i feel like the sneakers make it like a little bit more interesting so i feel like this could be a cute airport fit or like walking around outfit i feel like i'm somehow going to end up wearing this like, like new york Yankees hat with like every single outfit but i just feel like it's so cute and it's comfy and you guys know i love my hats and also if it's like super windy i kind of like don't want to have to deal with my hair all the time so so i don't know i might wear this to the airport this is one contender i feel like i would definitely go with the sneakers if i did wear this to the airport but I'll probably bring this outfit. Sir, what is going on? Are you okay? You're whining a lot over there. Is everything all right? Is everything okay? I know. You miss your sisters. I know. Oh my goodness. I know. It is hard to be away from your sisters. I know. I know. But you'll get to see her in like four or five days and it'll all be okay. Mwah. I love you so much. Okay, I'm back in my black hoodie. I'm not done figuring out outfits yet, but I need to, I think what I'm going to do is I need to go through and like actually write out what outfits I need because I feel like I'm just trying on outfits, but I don't know 
like what they're for and like how many of which outfit i actually need i need a coffee run outfit just in case like we don't want to like fully get ready we just want to go get coffee and then my daytime outfit probably will just be the same but i don't know we'll see okay and then dinner pjs seventh what am i gonna be i think i'm gonna be there until the eighth i don't even know like what we're doing each day though this probably would have been helpful if i would have actually like <laughs> planned so i knew what we were doing we don't get there until like 4 or 5 p.m tomorrow okay yeah we don't get there until 4 p.m tomorrow and then when we leave we're leaving at 5 p.m so i just need like so i just need a daytime outfit well technically just an airport outfit because we have to check out in the morning anyway so it's not like we're really gonna be out that long okay and then i have a airport outfit that i think i want to wear tomorrow but it's still in the dryer so i'm like still washing clothes i probably need to eat food today i'm like hungry i don't know i'm like hungry but i'm not hungry i don't know if like you guys are like that like before you start your period like i've honestly just felt kind of like nauseous and like weird all day but i don't know if that's just maybe like i'm kind of stressed because i waited to do everything last minute for this trip or if it's because i'm about to start my period and i just like feel bleh i don't know what it is but i haven't eaten like a ton today i just had like a little breakfast i had a smoothie for lunch and now it's like 5 30 and i know like my body feels hungry but like just nothing sounds good so i don't know maybe i'll make some like mac and cheese or something because i don't even think i have anything in to eat anyways because i like ate everything before this trip so like nothing would go bad so i think i literally just have like vegan mac and cheese in which is fine that's good anyways okay so i got two dinner outfits pjs will be super easy because i have like 500 sets of the exact same matching set <laughs> I don't know why I am that way, but I just like to buy like the same things. Like if I really like something, I just buy it over and over again. I don't know why. That's why I have so many dang white and light gray sweatshirts because I love them. They're so comfy. And you guys are probably like, she wears nothing but white sweatshirts, which you're not wrong there. Okay, so really all I have left to do is an airport outfit for tomorrow and then one dinner outfit and then an airport outfit for when we like fly back. So that's everything I still have left to do. I feel like it shouldn't be like too hard to like pack everything. I feel like the outfits are the hardest part. And then after that, like I could just throw everything in there. But I'm going to go make some mac and cheese. If you guys need a good vegan mac and cheese, I have the best recommendation. It's so, so good. Like so good. Let's go make it. Okay, this is the mac and cheese that I'm making. They actually sent some of this over in a PR package one time. And I didn't have like, I didn't think it was going to be that good because vegan mac and cheese typically isn't. <gasps> You guys, this stuff is so insanely good. I buy this all the time now. It's only like, I think it's like three bucks for a box. It has pretty good ingredients. Like it doesn't have like a ton of fillers and stuff in it. So I really like this stuff and it has some protein in it, which I like fiber. It's vegan, super yummy. Okay, you guys cannot tell me that this does not look so good. I think it's supposed to be like a white cheddar mac and cheese and it is so, so good. Okay, it's a little bit later. I ate my mac and cheese and I went to take Kai to my mom's house to drop him off. So got that all situated, hung out with her for a little bit. And now we are back to outfit planning it's getting pretty late so i need to like get a move on things but i think this is going to be my airport outfit for tomorrow it's actually surprisingly like it's been thunderstorming and raining really bad all day and it cooled off so so much now it's like really really cold outside i think it's in the 40s so i think this is going to be my airport fit for tomorrow because if i get too hot i can always just take off this faux leather trench coat but i just don't really want to like fold it up in one of my suitcases i'm just wearing a white sweatshirt white sweatpants both from boohoo but i'm having a hard time deciding on the shoes like i feel like this one would be be super cute but then i feel like these just kind of like make the outfit cuter so i really can't tell i don't know i feel like they're both super comfy so i have no idea which ones i'm gonna bring i feel like i kind of like these more but i feel like these are more comfy and i feel like i'm gonna wear these more especially if i'm like walking around and stuff i feel like i probably would do these so but whichever one i pick this is gonna be my airport fit for tomorrow okay next outfit so i'm thinking i'm gonna bring this outfit i'm not gonna wear i don't think i'm gonna wear the sweater i have a black bodysuit from Abercrombie that fits amazing and they're like I said their stuff is just such amazing quality so I think I might bring that so it's gonna be like a long sleeve black bodysuit and then the same faux leather pants that you saw earlier and then this coat and I don't know how I feel about it and it's so big and the reason why is because it's actually from the men's section at H&M it's a men's large so it is pretty big I did have to like roll up the sleeves I love the color though and I haven't been able to find like a woman's coat in my area or like online that's the same shade and i really wanted one so i saw this one i was like well i might as well honestly like austin will wear it if like i don't but i thought for a cute like daytime walking around the city look i could go with my black and white nike dunks because these are like insanely comfortable and then to dress it up for dinner i'd go with my pointed toe like little black booties i feel like i need to try this on with some other coats really quickly because this is cute I just feel like it's like too big maybe. Okay, I just tried on a few other coats. I tried on this houndstooth one, but the issue is that they're all super, super heavy and I know I'm gonna be packing a lot. 
and I'm gonna have to check like multiple bags because I know they're gonna be over the 50 pound weight limit. I'm not trying to add super heavy coats and this one's pretty lightweight. I feel like it'd be cute if I added a hat, but I feel like also I'm adding a hat to like every single outfit, but at the same time, it's gonna be super windy. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this coat anyways. And then if I end up not liking it, at least I will have more room in my suitcase to like buy a new coat because I'm sure I'm gonna do shopping there. So I'm just gonna bring this one for now. It's nice and warm and I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, next thing I'm trying to figure out is which laptop bag I wanna bring. Obviously this is the Marc Jacob one, which <laughs> has dog hair all over it. I feel like I'm kind of leaning more towards this one. It was a little bit more comfortable and it has like built-in padding and like a bunch of different like sleeves for your laptop and I'm gonna be doing a lot of work on the flight. This one's actually from Amazon. I've had this one for several years. I think I've, I don't think I've ever showed this to you guys or talked to you guys about this, um, but I love it. It is such a great laptop case it fits so so much i know you guys can't really see because it's dark but there's like a bunch of different compartments in here and it's just so great and then it also comes with like a giant um like strap if you wanted to use that as well but i don't know if this one's still on amazon but if it is i'll definitely find that and link that for you guys because i think it's maybe around like 30 dollars, so it wasn't expensive whatsoever and i personally think it just looks so cute okay i got all of my clothes packed on this side which actually fit really well including some of the coats um, i'm very surprised it all fit in like one half of the suitcase and then i have my bags and then some shoes in this one and and I think I'm gonna have to fit the rest of like my sneakers in my other bag. So I'm gonna say this bag is pretty well packed. I might lay a few things on top of here. Okay, I'm packing stuff in my second bag and I grabbed this little like silk pillowcase from Sonia Kashuk and then also that beauty sponge that I showed you guys in my last video. But definitely recommend always bringing your own pillowcase, especially like a satin pillowcase. I feel like your skin always just feels better, your hair feels better, and I personally just don't love like using hotel pillowcases because I don't know, I'm too weird about that. But I saw this little tiny one, I thought it would be perfect to bring. And then I have my makeup. I tried to kind of like streamline it and not bring a ton. I am bringing several of my new products to use, so I'm super excited for that. Okay, and then for my jewelry, this is basically my everyday jewelry, so I'm just gonna dump all that in a little baggie, and that keeps it like super simple and easy. This is the little dish that I showed you guys by the way that i got in i think it's like one of my fall vlogs and it's so cute for my jewelry i love it but that's everything i'm gonna bring for my jewelry okay i got all of my toiletries packed honestly this time i didn't even try to <laughs> make it cute it's so late i'm so tired so i'm just kind of throwing everything in here um for my hair i'm just gonna be bringing my shark flex style because it just has everything that i need to do my hair which is really nice so i don't actually have to bring anything else it's just super easy convenient we love her um and then i have my makeup shower stuff and then this side is pretty much empty. Um, I'm leaving it pretty empty, so I actually have room to like bring stuff back. But I just have my tripod, Nike Dunks. I have an umbrella in case it gets rainy, and then another bag. Um, and then that's pretty much all I'm gonna put in this suitcase. So, but other than that, you guys, I am done packing. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because it's getting super late and I'm ready to go to bed. But next time we see you guys, I will see you in Chicago. Mm -hmm.